So if we look around, we would have fought if we had gone over here. Um, that's where the warehouse is, I believe. So I guess we entered in the right spot. I, I don't know. I don't know how this all works. We got a guy with a shield. Oh yeah, we gotta we gotta pick where they're gonna start. Seems like we get to go first every time. Nope. <laughs> Having trouble, friend. So they're all moving. Oh, eliminate seven of the warehouse guards. And then I guess they give in. Follow me. <laughs> yeah! I'm coming! Is this how many enemies there are left to move? Yeah, that's cool. I like there's a bar. Okay. So they have, this one has the swipe, the slash that hits all of them, so. And then we have the shiv. That we can use to break through the armor. Let's do that. I'm gonna take an attack of opportunity, it's fine. Three to five, four to seven. Let's go uh, four to seven on this guy. Then we're gonna slash and we should get another action. That guy's gonna die. Impressive. Yeah. And then we're gonna move him um, into cover. Can't take cover behind the door, it looks like. That guy is not an archer. What's the movement of him? Morale minus five, movement four. Okay, so we could be here and we're good. Are moving to intercept. Actually, I'm gonna move everyone like around there, except for the guys with shields. Archer still has a an attack, so we couldn't move like here. Shoot this guy. Interrupt. 8 to 11 piercing damage. Knock an arrow and wait for... Oh, right, that's the Overwatch thing. I like the burning a lot. Oh, was that as painful as it looked? Because that's 5 to 7 damage, and then applies burn. But maybe the crippling would have been better in this case. Every man for himself. Oh, this guy's panicked. Okay, so there's a whole panic system, too. Nice. Now, it did say in the uh, one of the loading screens, which I'm cutting out for you guys, uh, if I remember to, um, that there are commanders. So if they have laurels around their portrait, I guess around this, then they're a commander. Aim shot, take him down. Can I go up here? Yeah, okay, cool. I can take another shot at this archer.
Very fucking fun so far. Six damage. So we can move up on these guys. Uh, but first, let's... Hmm. They have one archer there, too. But if we get into here... Um, then we'll be covered. But I think I should go and take this guy out. Minus 10 to all resistances. Is this guy resistant to fire at all? He is. Okay. So he's bleeding and, and burning, right? Oh, he's down. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm trying to think about it. It's like, nah, he's just dead. See this? Oh, there we go. There's the laurels. So I think... Actually, let's use this ability. Coordinated. And then we can get an attack in on the archer. And the archer won't be able to attack us over here, so... Oh, maybe I should have gone for that guy? Yeah, I should have. So I could have hit both of them. Uh, where, where are they going to go? Could attack this one, but then I'll be able to get it. I still have movement points, though. Like, I could go behind here. Movement three. Movement four. Four. Yeah, I think that's probably the best move. Eight. Damn. Oh, nice, and I can shiv. Oh! What a boss. Oh, I can go right back into hiding. Okay. Cool. I have to get into the habit of, like, remembering to, like, move, attack, and move, like... Ah, yeah, yeah, they walked away. Ah, they busted down the shield, so they were able to do some range damage. Yeah, I have to get in the habit of not just, like, moving and attacking and that's it. Like, I gotta use my advantages. So I just eliminate two more guards. Let's say accuracy from high ground. Okay. Can't hit this one. So it's worth it for me to do this, I think. No. We'll do that. And then I can Come move on. down to we here. Do oh, that guy has a shield, but I can shoot the archer. Or this guy. That makes more sense. I didn't see that a critical? Oh, I must have lost damage because it was so far. That's okay. Achieved! They just all give up. Oh, they run away. Like cowards! <laughs> Ooh, there is loot. Wait. There's 
loot all the corpses, guys! I'll be back. <laughs> That's why the person was running over. Okay. Oh, cool. Schematics. I wonder if we have a carrying capacity. So it looks like it's group of enemies. Groups of enemies have... Did I cut his head off? No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to run back to the other battle to collect the loot over there. Centurion Gallia. Gallia? Large medicine bundle. So I can equip that. Yeah, we got that! We got that helmet, boys and girls! Love it! Uh, Aspis 1 Worn Shield. Hold left control to compare. Uh, okay. So it's a different ability. One of them, I think, is Shield Bash. That's Hunker Down. Oh, that's why I thought that I could you could be attacked from the back. Okay. I think I might want this then instead. The base damage is lower, but I like that skill more. Remove strong, though. Okay, we'll keep strong. This increases shield strength. But once again, remove strong. Oh, upgrade to the sword. Applies deflecting to self. Character will deflect the next attack. Defensive strike. Cool. So we also get slash. Oh, that's neat. No upgrades really. Spear's better. Has the one. Just slightly better. And gives us another skill too. Piercing thrust. Okay. Uh, let's run back. I assume I can do that. Yep. All the corpses are still there. I'm sure everyone was like, no, you could, you could take stuff from the corpses. We figured it out. It's a new game. We got some, some a packed lunch and a sword blade. Loose medicinal herbs, pike head. Presumably for crafting. Schematic assassin equipment, assassin dagger, Assassin Cal and Assassin Garb. Alchemist equipment, Greek hood, Greek robes. I like how uh, you don't have to click on every corpse for looting. Weird how it chooses who to, who actually does the looting though. Doru one. I wonder if you can do any kind of, like, stealth. And just stealth through the encounters. I, I doubt it, but maybe. You gonna open that? Oh. <laughs> Lorica Muscalada, one. Salvage... Shield boss! A wellsmith boss. <laughs> Everyone needs a wellsmith boss. Serves the foundation. So that's the part like in the middle, right? I didn't know that was called a boss. Is that why is that where the term embossing comes from? Can I just sit on the chair? <laughs> Uh, 
I need a break, guys. Sorry. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Pilosh helmet. Critical damage, too. Huh. Probably put it on Bishia. Yeah, rocking it. Those are just the same things. Can't equip that armor, but these two can. Lower resistance. So the loot system is actually pretty uh, expansive. Wait, one has a description, the other one doesn't. Each campaign, it seems to develop many new engravings, but never any dents or scratches. Oh, it's it's Queso's, Queso's Old Musculata. More meticulously polished and maintained Lorica Musculata than Queso's. It's unlikely to exist anywhere in the world. I hope we can upgrade it. Because this is actually better. We'll hang on to that other one, though. Oh, it belongs to him. I wonder if we can sell it. Or what I mean is, I bet you we can't sell it. It's a crafting. Do we use this to learn? Ah, hold to learn. Suppose if we wanted to, we could sell it. And I think we leveled up. No. Maybe we unlocked some some skills. Anyone level up? No. Okay. So some more loot. Stink bugs over here. Strong armor rings, heavy Lorica Hamata one. There's one enemy left. Inventory. Right. Oh. All resistance is nine. Movement minus three. Okay. I think we want to be mobile with him, I suppose. So we can get into cover. Makes sense. More equipment. I wonder if it wouldn't be better to just have all the equipment, like, have all the loot after you complete a battle to be just on, like, one page. You don't have to run around the battlefield. Greek fire crate. Be careful with those jars. The liquid inside is highly volatile. It'll make quick work of those ships. We all leveled up. There's something off about you. Focus, please. This was the easy part. Now we have to sneak into the harbor and burn the ships. And then we have to sneak back out, one supposes. Not necessarily, but ideally. Achieving our objective is all that matters, even if it costs us our lives. Sure, whatever. <laughs> okay, so he did level up. I like it how it has that thing in the bottom left so that you know what you need to do. Thick hay is packed tightly around the fragile looking clay pots inside this crate to protect the dangerous alchemical mixture they contain. Yeah, start from the top. Heroic. Thank you very much.
Max health. Oh, it costs two. We could level up these. Funny that I haven't used Frightened yet. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't the best skill. <laughs> uh, it's different from what everyone else had, though. I think I'll save up my points. Maybe we'll go Hardened. Oh, Knockdown might not be bad. Applies knockdown to enemies. Unable to take any actions. Cannot block, dodge, parry, resist attacks. Setting up will cost the character half their movement. Let's go, uh... Knockdown. Cost two dots. I think that's movement, right? The I think they explained that before, but I've forgotten now. I think the square might be movement. Bastion, plus ten to all resistances, plus ten to maximum resistance. Well, that's passive too. Uh. Repair. Applies jury rig to self. Immune to all negative status statuses that affect shields. Move shield broken, exposed from self, sundered from self. Brace restores twenty five percent shield strength per stack of strong. Going all defensive. Hmm. I'm going to think about that. I'd like healing. Cure. Provokes attack of opportunity. Removes bleed, burn, poison, burning. Sure. Pleased. Assassin. 100% critical chance for the next attack. To focus. Lone wolf. Become prowling if the nearest ally is at least six hexes away. Critical chance is doubled, and the character has 20% dodge chance. Costs nothing. Oh, it's um, it's passive. So you go out on your own. I dig that. But we're a duelist. Dodge. Applies dodging to self. Next attack against the character has 50% chance to inflict no damage or status effects. That's not bad. We can go in and then apply... It costs four focus, though. On our damage by 100%. Apply, apply Savage to self. 100% critical chance of the next attack. I like this. Lone Wolf. Sagittarius. Hesitant. I don't really trust you either. Marksman. One of two. Oh, does that mean I can... Oh. Can I put one point in those and then level it up a second time? Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm a dumb dumb. I thought I needed two points to uh, to get that. Then I will take an extra 10% max health. I don't, I don't... Like, we're early on, so I feel like spending the points is probably worth it. Next upgrade, the angle of the interruption cone is increased to 160 degrees. I'd rather be aggressive. Passive skill, 100% critical chance for range attacks against adjacent characters. Mm, nah, I don't want to be adjacent. Interrupting can now attack two targets before it ends. Oh. Well, that makes it better. <laughs> Rebuke. Push the target one hex away from... You requires an empty hex behind the target. Okay, I'll do that. Because it's just two attacks. And then... I guess the problem, though, is that we won't get our action back? I guess... No, we still will, right? No, because we have to end our turn. So yeah, maybe that's not as good as I thought it was. Unequip. All right. 
I'll have to think a little bit harder about those upgrades next time. We're infiltrating now. Ah, oh, we have to leave, right. Having to, like, wait as our characters run all the way across is a bit weird. When, it, when the whole map has been cleared. I wonder if there it was stuff to find, though, on the map. Infiltrate. Like, tell it. Garrison. Uh, I'm not just going in, right? Am I going to the campsite? Milestone. Erect a milestone to gain experience. Let's do that instead. All Praetorians gain 50 XP. What is this? Some kind of loot? The ocean helmet. Maybe that's better on Bestia. Critical damage is <laughs> crit chance up one percent, but more resistances. Kind of, it kind of looked a bit weird <laughs> with the, with the feathers. Not gonna lie. So can I do this? You don't want to go into the camp. Yes. Okay. The Michelin is the only real city on Lisbos in recent years that has harbored many pirate ships, much to Rome's dismay. Well, let's go. It did say that XP experience was rewarded many to everyone. Unnoticed. So far, so good. Now we just need to get through that gate with the Greek fire. Just one guard. Let's you and I go up there and deal with him, Prima. Looks like we'll have a good outlook from up there as well. Uh, mm, I think we should give orders. Queso and Bestia, open the gate and carry the crate onto the docks once we've dealt with the guard. Cineros, watch their backs. As you command, I will keep my head on a swivel. So we go, how do we get up there? Oh, there's a boat. Climb the wall to take out the guard and see what your options are. Cannot leave, oh, right. That's for leaving. We climb the wall, huh? Like over here? Okay. Good for just running at him? I'm taking him. Get ready. <laughs> I think he looked right at you. <laughs> Discuss the tactical situation with Caldus. Good. The ships are moored quite close to each other. Fire will spread easily. What are our options? This part of the docks appears to be infrequently patrolled. Getting to the ships shouldn't be a problem. She did what she had to Let's do. signal to the others to move the Greek fire crate as close as they can to the galleys. Okay, so Bistia, the path is clear. Carry the crate to the prow of the nearest galley. At once, Prima. Let's go. I guess we have a couple of different options for how to get this party started. We could lob a pot of Greek fire onto the deck of that nearest galley from the pier below. That would give us a head start on our main objective. Or those three guards look half asleep. I'm sure we could take them out the same way I handled this guy here. That means less enemies to fight. Eliminating a few guards with the element of surprise sounds like a good idea to me. I can see the merit of both plans. Let's regroup with the others and then decide.
Let me loot these boxes first. Oh shit, let me loot this body first. <laughs> Wait, we forgot about the body. Back up, back up. Wait, you do it. <laughs> I don't want to get my hands dirty. so great over here. I guess we always send a minion over to do it for us. Greek robes. Fire resistance 5%, slash resistance 4%. Wonder if that uh, bow is worth equipping. Barbed arrow applies bleeding to enemies. That's good because we have a skill that um, works on bleed. It doesn't have the slow ability though. That's fine. It synergizes a little bit better with one of our other characters. Oh, this doesn't lower our, uh... she can't wear armor. Huh. Locked items cannot be changed. Something awkward about the way this simple Lorica Hamada appears to sit on Julius Kalidas. It doesn't look comfortable at all. We just can't change it. Her old hood. There seems to be nothing special about this hooded cloak. Though it is sturdy and rainproof, for whatever reason, however, Julius Kalidas refuses to part with it or even take it off in most situations. She's a never nude. I could... The cloth of Cinderos' toga is worn thin in many places and bears the half-washed traces of stains of many years of hard labor. In combat, it offers no protection, but it drapes perfectly around the service's form and fits in like a glove. Fire resistance, health, and bludgeoning resistance. Oh, I could equip a helmet. That's way better. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. What's this? Postering. Okay. Are we ready? We are. How do you want to do this? Kesa, Kesa, Bestia, and I will take out uh, these three guards. Then we'll grab fire jars and fight our way to the galleys. Good. We have the advantage right now, since they don't even know we're here. The less guards we have to fight, the better our chance of getting out of this alive. Sneaking around and stabbing soldiers in the back. Is this how we fight? I say we toss a few fire jars onto the deck of this galley here. Okay. Bestia makes a good point. What do you think, Sonaros? Both plans seem hideously dangerous to me. We are surrounded deep behind enemy lines. That said, I have no preference. I recognize that voice. I think it might be the same. I have this weird like memory for voices and, and, and music from stuff that I've played or like movies I've watched. I think that might be the uh, Grey Rat from, I think that's his name, from Dark Souls 3. I'm gonna have to look it up. But I recognize that voice actor. Calidus, do you have no preferred approach? Not really. We burn the ship. That's why we're here after all. Very good. Stay here. I have the best throwing arm. Bestia kind of convinced me. She's going around stabbing people doesn't seem like my style. Being sneaky. The alarm. Romans are within the city walls. Right. We have successfully woken up all of Matilene. We need to burn those ships quickly, or this whole operation will have been for nothing. Hey, wake up! The Romans have come! 
Based on how close the ships are, I believe if we set just two galleys aflame, no one can stop the fire spreading. Set fire to at least two ships, one half burning. Or one out of two burning. Pick up Greek fire jars from the crate. Oil barrel. Oh, I see. So we have to have, do we have to um, send someone to pick up the jars, I guess? Have you two behind cover? Ooh. Yikes. Uh, so how do we know who gets to go? Enemy reinforcements three. I guess I'll move down and regroup with them. Like, how do we know who gets to go first? We do, okay. Shit. I think I take cover. Do I book it or do I take cover? Let's book it. And then when they're taking their move, I think I can move around with other people, right? Pick up Greek fire. Okay, you're gonna pick it up. Do logistics. Uh, I can't jump up there, that's too bad. Okay, get into cover. That's 11 to 12 piercing damage. Okay. Okay. This is rough. <laughs> should two, should more than one person grab? Greek fire. Ah, Greek fire. Throwable. Six hexes is the range. Area effect one hex radius. Can damage allies. Applies burning to character. Applies or worsens the burn status. You have a return. Okay. So I could do. Is it an action to grab that? Let's just see. Oh, I see. It costs a movement point to throw it. Let me just double check that I'm understanding all this. If I move up here, I can hit them. Okay. Uh, oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, whatever. <laughs> We're committed. <laughs> You'll stay there. Let's do hunker down. Oh, I thought she was undercover, but maybe because she's uh, doing that thing. The Overwatch, she's not. Yikes. Uh-oh. Come on, this 
I like that each of the uh, different classes has a symbol, so you can kind of tell from a distance. I mean, you can kind of tell from the outline, but you can also tell from the icon, what class they are. Okay, well. Defensive strike. I'll get my action back too. Okay. If I attack, do I... I guess I incur an attack of opportunity, right? Yeah. Oh, and if I move here, but I can move around like that. If I move through her spot, I'll also take one. I have an idea. Let's go with the knockdown. Man. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes, you are a dangerous man. Barbed arrow. That blocks the shot as well from that side. Go aim shot at them. Panic, that's good. Oh, I didn't get the uh, the kill. Okay, well let's move deeper into cover. The only archer I have to worry about is from over there. So do I not have a healing skill? Yeah, I guess I had to take that that active. That wasn't very smart of me. Can I grab a second one? No tactical item slots. Okay, so these are not tactical item slots. Let's just get close, as close as possible. This guy's running, eh? So I could just do something like this. Oh, I should have grabbed another one. We'll, we'll do it next time. For now, we'll stay here, I think. So I guess you could, like, move next to that person when they're panicked, and if they run away, you get an attack of opportunity, right? Uh-oh. I didn't see that. I'm on follow again. I see them. Let's get those bastards. Trying to flank us! So who got shot there? I guess it was Bestia. That did not take up our action, so that's good to know. Targets in cover. Damage. Panicked. Okay, so we don't have to worry about them for now. 
But let's move over here. Oh, one turn. Enemy reinforcements are coming. Fuck it. Let's take him down. I wonder where they end up coming from. Probably like here, right? Oh, look at this. There's the whole fortress over here. Cool. I'm easily pleased. <laughs> okay, cover. Stay in cover. There's that guy to worry about. How far can they move? Five. Five. So they, I can get hit by them. Yeah, I can get hit regardless. I should probably move back then. Shoot, where's the archer? Hmm. Let's just move back to here. Oh, they're un they become unfrightened. Okay, I didn't notice that. Oh, that's not good, guys. Deflected completely. Glad that archer couldn't take a turn. This is a much more difficult fight than the last ones. No, no, oh no! Okay, got our action back. That's good. Now think about that. Don't have to take the action yet. Where's my archer? Four movement, four movement. Oh, there's a guy here too. Okay, we're into we're into tricky territory here. Okay. Oh, that's that that's what this meter is, focus. Seven to fifteen. I could do four to seven, maybe. And bleed, okay. So that'll take him out next turn. How far can this guy move? Five. One, two, three, four, five. So if I stand here, I can take that guy out. And the archer is back there, so he should be good. I 
I should go with the interrupt skill, I think. Because that guy's going to bleed out, right? Shield push. I think that's probably a good idea. And then we can kind of run away with the rest of the group. Yeah, nice. Ow. Nice. I didn't get that second shot off. What? There it is. Form up. We'll face them together. I should just I should just run for the ship, right? I, I feel like I'm trying to be too killy. <laughs> I should just be running directly towards the ship. Don't worry about the guys behind us, right? Okay. That's a good spot for the archer. Four, movement four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's get right up to them. Four to seven. Plus the bleed. Nice. Oh, just stand on their corpses? <laughs> uh, I guess that means that they're close to dying. Can't attack me, though. Oh, they're they have, they're shielded though, eh? Okay. I don't think they're gonna be able to catch up to me if I move. Oh shit! I want to break the shielding. Oh, I can still move after I attack. I gotta remember that. Oh, but I'm gonna take an attack of opportunity. Shield push again? Oh no, there isn't an empty spot there. Cannot see target. Shit. Well, I fucked that up pretty bad. See, interrupt. This guy might go down. We'll see. Oh, I had the free action. I didn't use it. Oh, I'm dumb. Fuck. What does that mean, though? I see them. Let's get those bastards. What does it mean? Get up. Ah, one of your characters is being incapacitated. This will likely happen often. If combat death is enabled, incapacitated Praetorians will begin to bleed out. Stabilize them with bandages or with the aid skill that every character has when, un when unarmed. Or you will lose them forever. Incapacitated Praetorians who have not bled out will get back to their feet after combat, but will almost certainly suffer a lasting injury, which must be treated in camp or while you travel. 
You take down an enemy with an attack that deals more than double the amount of damage than the health they have. That enemy will be instantly slain. This cannot happen to your Praetorians. Oh, I see. That's what I've been doing sometimes. Okay. So I have to I have to be un I have to be unarmed to uh incapacitate someone? Or sorry, to not incapacitate to to uh raise someone. I think I had to take an, an attack here to kill this guy. Wait, she'll push and do anything? Panicked. Oh, that's perfect. So how do I, uh, do I have to... Une unequip something to raise them. I'm a little confused. Three turns. Clearing the way. Let's see if we can complete the mission before they bleed out. Um, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. No. But that's kind of... So they're going to take a permanent wound, probably. Which is kind of neat. I think this this mission is meant to teach you that sometimes you have to ignore the enemies and go for the objectives. Because I can't go... I can't unequip stuff. That's the wrong guy to be sending. <laughs> it's like no movement speed. Okay. Uh, seven to eight. We got to move forward because these guys are getting in. Uh, one, two, three. She's going to be able to get attacked. So let's move everyone this way. Also has the Greek fire. Or the aid skill. Good luck, my friend. Oh, shit. Okay, let's uh let's try with him first.
I think I throw it at that. That's done it. There's no saving these galleys now. Yes! Uninjured! Oh, man, that was close. Victory achieved! I guess everyone just runs away. <laughs> they just run away. Everything's on fire. Man, that was a bloodbath. I call this a success. Even the harbor itself is a flame. Uh Good work. Time to join Thermos. Let us move out or they will uh they will retain all glory. Mm. Yeah. Let us be the conquerors of Metilene. Rendezvous with the Legion. How you doing, buddy? Oh, that's that's not the injured one. <laughs> that's that uh, bestia. Cool. We'll have enough food for a while, right? Gladius one. Guess we can't go that way. Looks like the reinforcements didn't drop uh, anything. You can't just farm them for unlimited resources, maybe. pile of supplies okay maybe not so i need to uh make some bandages for the next next encounter i'd say right let's rendezvous with the legion 